Hello and how are you all doing today? My name is Savior. I want to thank you so much for tuning into this video and today we are doing something a little bit different. And here is in generals, um, I wanted to show you a sort of tips and tricks guide type thing to Heroes and Generals because I've played this game for a very long time. Time I've seen it go through a lot of changes, a lot of updates, a lot of additions, but there's one thing that has always remained the same in this game and that is the need for credits. As you see up here, credits is the source of currency in Heroes and Generals. Um, it's a, a currency that you earn just by playing the game, you don't need to spend real money on it, but with that you can use it to buy all kinds of things for your people, different guns as you can see. Um, if you're watching this video I'm assuming you know things can cost a lot of money. You see the light machine gun right here, the M1919MG costs almost 200,000. When you look at stuff for like your recon, your scopes alone just cost a lot of money. So a lot of people wonder, how do you earn? credits quickly because you can play games you know and you get them but what is the most efficient way to earn credits and I think that I found a very good way as you can see I have quite a lot of credits I have as I said I've played this game for a very long time so I mean I have a recon I have my infantry they're both pretty high rank I have a pilot with multiple planes I have a paratrooper I have a tank crewman with multiple types of tanks um, and I have like this just little fun anti-tank guy that does not have any weapons so i kind of have already you know bought a lot of stuff i don't really need to buy anything for my recon and for my my main infantryman because i have everything i need you know my johnson on this guy with full upgrades um and i have camo on all of them and you know it's it's great i have it all so um how do you get to that point how do you get enough credits you're just starting out and you have a low ranking infantry and you are needing to earn credits because maybe you want to buy the grease gun so you can upgrade your um, machine gun ribbon so that you can get a uh, better gun to use such as the Thompson which is a great weapon to start out with um, so uh, you're trying to earn enough money to buy that gun what is the best way to do it well first if you are starting out my advice to you is do not buy weapon attachments now I know that some people are very drawn to this, but hear me out for a second. So say you're using this um, M1 Garen and you're wanting to buy uh, better bullets. So you see, you know, they're not too expensive, 3000 and then maybe you get into a scope though, you know, 22000 just for the, the extended iron sight. And so um, you start getting really expensive. So one, you're spending credits on attachments for a gun that you're eventually not going to use that's only increasing its you know I mean you can get a M1 M1 grand to to do fairly well I mean you with full attachments you can do that however if you're wanting to earn credits to get a better gun or maybe you're wanting to earn you know unlock skins or buy uh, different types of classes over here uh, the best way, in my opinion, is don't use attachments, and if you've been playing for a while and you have a gun with attachments, stop using that gun. So here I'm going to slide over my Johnson and everything else. What I'm going to take is just the M1 Grand. That's all I need. The starter weapon, so if you're just starting out, this is your standard semi-auto rifle that everyone starts out with. You have it, there are no attachments. I'm not going to use anything else. I'm going to have my vehicles, but I'm not going to spawn in with them or anything like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to hop into a game. And our goal is, see here, I played a game just before this to, to give you a rough idea. And so, um, in this game, you have your stats. So, you see, I did fairly well. Um, it was a fairly short game. I got 51 kills, 14 deaths, 3 captures. Um, my score was pretty high. And uh, I had a couple plane destructions, which helps you get some credits. And so, as you can see here, I earned almost 10,000 credits for that, for that match. Now, what happens, though is because I use my Johnson fully upgraded and some Jeeps I'm spending 5,400 so really I only earned a little over 4,000 credits for that match now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in a game with just the M1 Grand no attachments to it and we're going to hop in and our goal is is to kill people with this gun and then take their weapons and fight with it. Now some people, they'll put, they put out videos about helping with credits and uh, they suggest using a melee weapon. I don't think that's a bad idea either. However, you obtain credits based on 
how well you do. And so it's a matter of the length of the round and then the performance that you give during that round. And so I feel like when you're running in with a melee weapon, more often than not, you're going to lose that battle unless you sneak up on someone. You at least have a chance with a gun, and honestly, the repair cost isn't going to be that much effective, as you'll see here. So let's jump into a game, let's see what we can do, and I'll show you the end results. Alright, and here we go. So we just got into a game that has just begun, and, uh, you know, some rounds are... Oh, dang. Some rounds are better than others uh, in terms of what resources are available. So as you can see in this one, there's tanks, airplanes, and then infantry. And so I would prefer doing this. I don't even know why I hopped in that Jeep as a waste of time. I would prefer doing this if there were recons, simply because I love playing as recon. And if you can sneak up on an enemy that has a one-shot kill sniper rifle and you kill them and take that, you're going to do really well. And like I said, part of the factoring into earning credits is performance. And so, when you get a really good gun, you want to keep it and just wing it. I'm surprised that dude didn't just mow me down. Ah! No! Let's get inside, we're gonna die. That's okay. You know, we're just starting out, we're trying to get some, get some damage going. Because you don't have to get someone else's gun. I'm just saying that's the best way to perform well in the game, get kills, and earn the most credits efficiently. Dang, headshot. Give me that. That works. It's a gun. There's people over here, around here to the right. So we have the enemy gun. I made a mistake. Oh, MP40. Ah, it's bad, but we got some kills. So see, we're moving up. So as you just move along, basically what I try to do there is just progressively find a better and better gun. So I started off with the, uh, the 34, and I don't really like that gun, but um, got a kill with it, managed to you know move up to the MP40, got a couple more kills before dying. Um, this game is gonna end super quickly, but that's okay. It makes it a little bit more effective just showing you. Again, the other factor in this is time, the amount of time you're spending in the game. Shoot! So many headshots on me. We're gonna lose so fast. One thing I did forget to mention too is if you find the Panzerfoss on the map, I always use those effectively. Grenades cost so much money to use in-game, and so I tried my best to avoid using those, if at all possible. This game's already gonna end. Oh my goodness, what an explosion. Okay, so that dude killed so many teammates there at the end. All right. Moment of truth. Okay, so again, really, really short, short match. Only earned you know 1,314. Uh, didn't do too great, but repair costs three. So as you can see there, I almost earned a hundred percent of what I was doing. Now again, factor in time, I would have earned way more if the match was longer. However, because I did not have anything, any attachments to repair. I wasn't using vehicles, I wasn't using grenades, I wasn't using anything like that. Just solely a standard entry-level gun that you would start, anyone would start out with. Picking up guns as I go, picking up Panzerfoss, hitching rides with people in their vehicles, things like that, earns you money, or earns you credits very, very quickly. And as you can see, if that round would have, I mean, that was quick, quick. There's a way I can see how long that round lasted, right? Six minutes. Six minutes I earned over a thousand credits compared to how long was this match that I was in. This match was 30 minutes. So, you know, you do the math, that's what, six, a um, little under six times as long. I would have earned a lot of credits there. So 
that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to show you a quick guide for how I earn credits quickly. It's something that's super effective in this game, especially if you're trying to rank up your characters, get better gear, get better equipment so that you can go out there and start winning matches. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, click that like button, subscribe to the channel to see more content, subscribe, or not subscribe, comment below if you would like to see um, anything in particular, uh, questions that you might have, uh, gameplay you might want to see, all of that good stuff, or just say hello, I don't mind that either. And so, again, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one.